So the most amazing thing happened, and I bet you'll get, never guess what. The lady that I spoke about with the copycat racism card, Erica Thompson. I think that's her name. No, it's Thomas. Uh, she decided to double down. Go figure, right? Amazing. Who's surprised about this? Here's some great little details that I've noticed in this little fantastical case. She cried on her Facebook thing. The guy retorted. She tried to hold a press conference to get as much attention as possible about her poor little racism because she's a black woman, nine months pregnant. He showed up, said bullshit, that's not what happened, quit lying to people. He's also a Democrat. He hates Trump. It's very clear in his social media posts. Um, Matt Christensen did a video about it, video about this person too. So you can go see a little bit more detail because he took clips from the things she said and, and put them up there for everybody to see. It, okay, great. <clears throat> I'm going to stop doing that personally. Because uh, you never know when YouTube decides to hold a kangaroo court and, you know, slap you with copyright. They're really good at that. <clears throat> at any rate, what's amazing about this is um, you see the behavior she had at the grocery store when they decide he decided to confront her saying, you lazy ass, or actually he said you lazy bitch. Um, get your ass to the back of the line. Other people are here to use the Ted Adams unless you have 20. Go to the other line. Not a huge issue, actually. Pick your hills to die on, dude. There's no point. All you're doing is stirring the pot at that point. And clearly she thinks she's entitled enough to just do that because her feet hurt. And she's nine months pregnant. And she felt the need to yell at you when <laughs> you're in line. Here, so here's some great things. She's claiming it went one way. And that it uh, it started with him being a complete and total racist toward her. Telling her to go back. And she heard that lines along those lines where, where she heard it. She's been inspired by Jesse Smollett because she's like his biggest fan, which is amazing. Um... And it never happened. It never happened. And she didn't get told to go back where you came from trying to pull. Trump said it to like a racist and other people have learned from it. These stupid white privilege assholes. Because that's what she claimed in her original video, right? White privileges everywhere. I can't believe you have all this white privilege to go around telling people how to be. Like, you're a politician. You have the privilege of political office to hold a press conference. Because somebody you claim was racist towards you. Doing a copycat of the original. Of Trump being what people call racist. Toward four absolute jackasses that hate the country. Well, it didn't work out. Because the person that you claimed was racist showed up to your original press conference. Your first one that was in a parking lot of the place that happened. And she proceeded to act a fool, interrupting him, being rude to him, because he was there once again challenging her on being a jackass, an absolute bitch. And that's the fun part of this whole thing. So if you watch this, his interview that he had on the news, where the raw footage, she's interrupting him, she's yelling at him, she's berating him to his face, he is completely calm, he's collected little bit irritated, you could tell, because he's being lied about in the media. And then uh, he's Cuban on top of it, so it doesn't matter. She labeled him white, so he's white. It is what it is. You got to accept that. Black woman labeled you white. That's you're, you're now the scarlet letter. You're the devil. It sucks to be you. Just accept it. Roll on, dude. This is the Democratic Party that you voted for. This guy voted her into office by the way isn't that amazing so uh she doubled down she got a lawyer she decided to tell people that he indeed was racist she feared for her life <laughs> and that uh 
she didn't know when she goes out in that parking lot if she was going to get killed or shot or hurt by this evil, awful black, or black, evil, awful white man that told her to go back where she came from. But she definitely heard that rhetoric, something like that, sort of. Yeah, that second video, that, that uh, clip of him interrupting her press conference the first time, she learned her lesson. She went back to her home office, did a, an official press conference from the booth of the office that she stands for, because she's a representative in the state of Georgia for that district. She's a state representative, not a federal one. And she proceeded to exclaim that she is afraid of her life, and she couldn't stand that long, but she had no problem standing long enough to yell at him in his face in the middle of the, little of the sun, because Georgia's a hot fucking state. <laughs> And in the middle of the parking lot, for who knows how long that press conference went on, she, she had no problem yelling at his ass in the middle of the freaking parking lot, but no, her feet hurt. She couldn't do it. She had no problem at the second press conference standing up the whole time, exclaiming that he was such a racist ass. The reason why she had a second press conference is because then it was a controlled environment. She could now spin her narrative without interruption of the person she's claiming did that to her. Here's the problem. According to people like her, who believe in the critical race theory nonsense that has been developed by stupid people, namely Marxists, ironically, that uh, power plus privilege equals racism. She has institutional power as a representative in the state of Georgia, political, governmental power that every socialist wants. She also has great privilege given to her by that office as a duly elected official in the state of Georgia. She is racist by your definition. She has privilege plus power. This guy does not have any of the privileges given to him by, the, by being a representative in the state of Georgia. He is a private citizen that actually, and in fact, voted for this person because he just votes along party lines and doesn't think about what he's doing. He does not have the privileges given to him by that, and he has no institutional power. Since you guys seem to change and move the flag on what power is, she has institutional power. He does not. Therefore, she is racist in this situation. Regardless if she's actually being racist or not, doesn't matter. Your theory, not the rest of the world's. Now, using the regular definition of racism, the one that pretty much everyone else that's sane accepts, where you degrade a person based on color of their skin, or insult um, actually it's meant demean to think somebody's lower than you or better than you uh, based on skin what she she did that too but that's okay um, I, I still define it as placing value on the skin so it doesn't matter it's kind of the same thing not really but uh, any other definition of racism she's the racist she decided to say this poor white or this this privileged white privileged man was mean to her at a grocery store never happened video footage criminal footage she tried to say it was a hate crime tried to turn it into the police the police investigated nothing there he now has legal grounds for a lawsuit for discri or a defamation of character and slander using her public office as a tool to slander him who knows how many people took her side if any of his bosses happen to be black they probably took her side especially if they're democrat and uh made his life a living hell he might have lost work over this who knows at this point i'm bet i'm betting we're gonna find out here shortly because he's lawyered up too and i hope he sues the living shit out of her for defamation and slander. She's using her public office as an elected official to defame and slander a person because she wants them victim points. She's seeking the victim bucks. 
It was her turn to roll them dice and copycat the original. Donald Trump said some me things on Twitter. Oh my God, that's racist. This lady heard some mean things from a guy in a grocery store line. Oh my God, that's racist. Neither one is true. That's the great thing about it. She flipped. She didn't even stage a hoax like Jesse Smollett. She flipped the narrative. She got up in somebody else's face and yelled at him for how dare you say that to me. Almost the uh, classic, do you know who I am? And then proceeded to cry wolf. Didn't pan out this time, did it? The more people cry wolf, the worse it's going to get. That's how it works. The more, more times you lie about a situation that could be an actual problem, the worse it's going to get for you, the worse it's going to get for everyone else that says it too, because ain't nobody going to believe you at that point. You fucked the world because of your lies. Good job. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I bet you there's going to be some new spicy things to come out of this one. But uh, you better be guaranteed that we're going to see more of this. I, I, I know of it. All right. Apparently my neighbor's taken off with his motorcycle. Off to work. Lovely. I'll see you next time. I was hoping to exit with that motorcycle. There we go. Yeah. How dare you challenge me with your so-called kung fu? You don't have a chance.